let's do this. Wow! Sound any more depressed? I just... I have to get myself in that mode of... I have to deal with you for another five hours. Bitch! <sighs> anyway, welcome back, everybody, nerds and gamers. My name is Drummy, and this asshole next to me is Don. Bitch! Ow! Ow! Oh, son of a bitch! That hurt! God! <laughs> Remember, you have to deal with that for the next five hours. We're back playing Mozino Gears. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, okay, Don, before you uh, move around, you are now walking around in a mech. It's time for you to learn some controls because it really hasn't told you what to do. Good point. So, everything movement-wise is the are same. Are you okay, though? I did hit you pretty fucking hard. <laughs> One of these days, Don. One of these days. I'm going to fuck you in the asshole. Ew. <laughs> uh, so movement still works the same. Right. I, I just noticed that. Uh, pressing circles, sprints. Yeah. Uh, triangle for jump. Yep. Yeah. Now there's a one additional option you have. If you press R2 and L2 together. R2 and L2? Yeah. Boom. You're out of your mech. Damn, I am tiny as shit. Well, yeah, compared to the mech. Think about it. <laughs> What if the if the mech was just as big as you? That would make no sense. I think if they pan the camera to be, you know, no, it would be ridiculous. Also, it would probably break the game's like, it would probably break the game's graphics to try to get that close up. Good point. The point is that in this mode, it's still using sprite graphics, so like, it looks good. I'll give them that. Yeah, if it if it tried to zoom up the sprite graphics, it would probably, uh, you know become a problem but anyway walk around get used to uh try to find your way out of here right uh, i don't think there's any combat things in here but uh let's talk about bart since we have the time right we just got him but yep. we ended the let's play so as it will be the oh oh wait oh there apparently there's battles. combat oh we yeah. can still talk yeah this combat's not that hard uh this is a mayfly you're not going to do any damage with normal attacks. Right, but I'm just building up for, um... Right, so should you be using X, square, or triangle since you can't do any damage anyway? Uh, you use triangle to build it up, and then you uh, start off with uh, triangle, triangle, I believe, is what? That is correct. Actually, you have triangle, square right now, oh, so... Oh, yeah. Wow, I am not doing crap for damage. No, you're not. This is actually a pretty hard boss to fight right off the bat. Huh. And I call him a boss just because he's a hot, hard, uh, nope, not gonna help you there. No, uh, no. I tried. Just keep, just keep, uh, buncing into him. So, Bart, and this will be true of every other, um... Character in the down the line? Other character is that there is a difference between the character and how they fight in melee and how they fight in their gear. For um, for Faye, he's very balanced in both ways, between physical defense uh, and off and physical offense. Uh-huh. Uh, Bart is a... Uh, he's a little bit more tanky support. He's got a little bit more defense, I think, than Faye does. He's actually got three points less than Faye currently. Talking about in general. Okay. <laughs> I am talking about in general, and that is because he's not wearing a cap. True. But I'm talking about in general, he's a bit more defensive, and his ability, um, wild, wide smile, is a good, uh, is a good ability to use against an enemy to do, in, uh, decrease their effectiveness. Yeah, the uh, evasion down, accuracy down's nice. Well, I used it earlier. Yep, and that's why you just uh, were able to dodge that one. Uh, yeah, you have to keep going, dude. You don't have a level 2 yet. I, I stopped to see if he had a level 2. No, he doesn't. That surely has the one death blow, so... Oh, yes. Jeez, how long is this fight? This will 
go this fight is a little bit long, I admit. And I'm not sure why it takes so long. I don't remember it being that long. Because I thought possible that I'm under leveled for this? You you're forgetting, Don, you can't level. Oh yeah, you're right. Leveling does not help you in your gears. The only thing that helps you in your gears is your uh there we go. Yeah, now he's dead. Whenever they whenever in a gear fight, whenever the enemy starts to look like that, they are very near death. So one more combo should do it. Yay! And you didn't take too much damage anyway, so you're fine. Don't worry, by the time you get out of here, no, you... I'm more worried about the fuel, or does that recharge at the end of combat? No, it does not. So That's... fuel is something to look out for. Right. That is why you have to be conscious about your choice about whether to use triangle, square, or X for your ability. Right. They give good money, though. But that's not important. You don't want to worry about that. Let's get you out of here. Um, I believe eh. there's a there's a there's a big boulder somewhere that you're looking for. That's not it, apparently. So with his abilities, Bart is a very good member to have in the party. Uh, go up. There it is. Yay! So my senses detect what appears to be a huge cave on the other side of here. If we could only do something about this boulder, but I doubt we can just smash it to pieces. I guess we could try pushing it. Wait, no matter how you look at it. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> so, that being the case, you know, one of the things I, I, I thought about is that when it talks about the characters and how they play, the best way to explain it would be using another, like, League of Legends terms. And in that case, um, Bart is very much like a supporty tank kind of character. His wild smile and his other abilities help you to get an advantage on the enemy. Which is cool. I, I like characters like yeah. that. While Faye, in his... Uh, his melee combat and his gear is very much a roundabout uh, uh, physical fighter, kind of like Lee Sin. Right. You know, he's just he's just good damage and ability and all and roundabout balance. But his other abilities are not that great unless you really focused on them. And honestly, I could tell you that's not really worth your time. Okay. So Doc's fine. Everyone's fine. Your guys are just stuck here in this random cave. Hey. Right. Where are you, anyway? Mm, I'm in the desert. You were in the desert, but now you're below the desert in a cave that is, um... It's one of those, uh, temp, uh, one of those caves that people have been probably digging for treasure for. Exactly. So, <laughs> we, this, the conversation goes back to how, how Bar, how Ellie had also, uh, told Faye, Hey, you know what? You're the one who fought us. You could have just you could have just walked away. Yeah, but Bart is taking it much less serious because he's just that kind of person. Right. <laughs> now he picked a fight. Yeah, Bart Bart is a very hot headed kind of guy. I can tell. So I wanted to mention that uh, Bart looks like a character from another um, another game and. He actually, I believe he looks like one of the characters of Xenosaga. However, I will say emphatically that there is no connection. Probably not. Most definitely not. There is no connection between the characters, uh, Bart and anyone else. Okay, that was just dead in that way. So, for the first part of this dungeon, you're going to want to just try to get onwards until you get to a place uh, where you'll save. Right. Um, because once you get there, you'll be fine. These enemies are much easier. Yay. They take damage right off the bat. However, he just used charging. Right, which is never good. Uh, never mind, he's dead. But it's okay. You don't even have to use a super combo. To destroy them. Right, because hey. it uses up more fuel. Hey, uh I bet you I bet you could take those things on without even your gears. Really? Yeah, why not? Uh they're bigger than me? Try uh, pressing L2 and R2. Yeah. 
So this is one of the secrets of uh, how to not grind, but how to continue to get death blows regardless. Okay. It's a little Do bit... I have to go all the way back to get my gears, though? No, 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 no. If you press L2 and R2 again, they'll come back to you. After the fight, of course. So here's the thing. What kind of thing are you fighting? Oh, look! Those <laughs> are pretty... Those... Actually... <laughs> excuse you. Uh, excuse me. I am not... I was not sure that these guys were even here. The best way to face off against these things is to use all of your attack power you can. So go ahead and start attacking one. And use your... Uh, um... Your biggest attack, which I believe is your Triangle Triangle X. Sixty damage. Yeah, unfortunately, um, uh, okay. I was gonna say that was not enough damage, and maybe you should have thought about jumping into one of your mechs, but uh, that's okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, eat bricks. So go ahead and uh. Press up twice. Call your gear. You're not good enough to take on these guys without your mech. Yeah, do it for him too. I thought maybe you'd be able to take on these guys, but obviously you're still too much of a wimp. Whatever. But they're, but they are incredibly weak. See, there, he just tried to attack you and ended up hurting himself. himself. So you don't even need to waste your, um, uh, you don't even need to waste a combo on him. He'll just die. And then use a combo on him, and he should die too. Go, keep do, keep. What are you doing? I thought Why? I hit it twice. I tapped it twice. Well, if you did, you would have kept attacking. See, if you look at the if you look at the bottom, you'll see that whether or not you've actually activated the ability you want. Extra AR, extra AR plus one. All right, so now we got some extra gear parts. Uh, press square. That, that is, is not square. square. Jinx. Go to gear. Go to equip. So Welltall, which is phase gear, has two extra armors and an old circuit. Right. Uh, that's fine. So go ahead and look. At, quit, uh, exchange one of the extra armors with an extra armor plus one. There you go. And go to the other guy. He uses an AC, which in, uh, increases agility in the desert. You're not in the desert, so uh, change that with extra armor. So let's look at those stats. You have it mm -hmm. much like with your um, normal character. You have attack, defense, ether defense. Response is your evade. Okay. And response is much more of an understandable stat because response is pretty much just that's your percentage of dodge. Right. It's response time and how well you control your gear. Right. But it also might, um, it also, I believe, and I can't confirm it, but I believe it has to do with your attack hit percentage as well. But it's not the same like percentage. It doesn't give. It doesn't like say you have no chance of hitting. Obviously, it's just I believe putting points in response gives you a better chance of hitting. But I can't confirm that or deny it because I'm not sure. Because I think agility might have more to do with it. So, it, man, did I tell you to leave the screen? I'm sorry. I wanted to heal my allies. They, they're fine. <laughs> so you have agility. Which affects your character speed, um, and then ether amp, which is an amplifying to your character's ether stat. So in order for ether amp to do any, make any difference, your character's ether level also has to be higher. Right. Since it amplifies the ether ability that they have. So, this is fine, so you can leave all that. Uh, and then leave your gears again. There you go. Keep going. So starting off, you probably won't find any enemies you can face off very easily. Uh, you'll probably keep jumping back into your gear. But the reason why you want to do this is because you want to get Bart his second level death blow for his gear. Right, which should be triangle square. No, it would be triangle triangle square because you already have triangle oh, yeah. square. So here's another example. Uh, all those sand things are easy. So here's the best thing to do. Get... Uh, phase gear out 
but don't get Bart's gear out. Let him do an attack uh, combo against the ge big gear in the back. Just do it to, to the gear in the back? Yes. Do it. No, no, no. Okay, just press X. Uh, or, oh, oh, okay, just do that. Now, hopefully, Tin Robo doesn't try to attack Bard. He doesn't. So you're in luck. Uh, go ahead and kill him with Faye. Right. I, I said kill, not not tap him on the face. But Dude, I, I didn't have any more points with Faye. Remember, it's got to build up to do death blows with the map. You don't have to always do death blows. All right. Okay, that... Uh. You need to talk faster if you want me to listen. So, it should be obvious that if Tin Robo hits you, you're going to take a lot of damage. So kill Tin Robo. I'm going for it. It's not my turn. <laughs> there, alright. Now, now... That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you're learning. You're learning that the controls sometimes do not favor you. So, do triangle, triangle, X. I oh tried my doing God. triangle, X. I'm typing faster than the game is responding. Try to compensate for the game's lag. Just charge. Uh, it's it's right there. There you go. Charging restores 30 fuel. It's a good thing to use in this consideration. So, triangle, triangle, X. The game shouldn't have that much lag in it. Yay. Yay. So you haven't learned the death blow yet, so... Well, he only has the one, triangle, X. Right, You, but you need the level 2 death blow. Which it wouldn't it be triangle triangle square? No, no. As I said before, all of the characters, the the death blow progression is the same for each one. So press square and go to phase status screen. Right, I know, I know where it's at. And go to skills. Yeah. So you see, his his first one is triangle X, and his second one is triangle triangle X. That's going to be the same for every other character. Okay. So once you learn it for one character, it's easy to learn for another. Along the way, you're going to want to learn it for every character, but that's not going to be too difficult to do, mostly because I'm going to be showing you what the death blows are. So, um, this time I want you... No, 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 no. Just use your death blows as fast as you can against that... Triangle, triangle, X. And attempt to take this thing down as fast as you can using Bart and Faye. Okay. Remember, even if Bart just uses triangle, X, because he's using part of the so death just triangle, blow, X with them, Bart? Yes. You want to use death blow because they're going to do much more damage. So just because you're using death... Just because you're um, not using the full combo... Because you're using a part of the death blow of a higher level death blow, you're still getting points towards it. You're just not getting as many points towards it. Alright, keep going. And that should be it for him. Yeah, there you go. So now you can have both Faye and Bart working on their death blows. Okay. So go ahead and uh, attack and use and start learning some death blows. Now for Faye, his next death blow is going to be square and X. And if you can get, I believe... Faye's already at 100% for his... For Triangle X? No. Uh, it was, I don't think he's high enough level for it. I don't think he was at 100% for it yet.
Or if he was, that would be very surprising. Yes, you can heal Bart. Don't worry, these enemies, if you're not fighting an enemy in a gear, it won't do a lot of damage to start off with. This whole area is designed to just help you get into the game's uh, mechanics. Yeah, I'm totally learning that. It's also designed to help you learn death blows, so you run around without your gear, and then if you need your gear... You call it. You call it. Okay, it's only at 81. I thought for some reason it was at, uh, at 100 or we were just high enough level. No, no, my student. You are incorrect. Because I believe as soon as you learn it... Uh, to fight or not to fight? Talk to it. A, gear number three... Tell the current situation or surrounding area info. Uh, tell current situation. Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. Mostly because we're in a desert. Right. The sand barrier south of Terrace Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. It's almost like it's designed just to sit here and tell us what to do next. Probably. So, um... You're going to want to, uh, yeah, surrounding area info, I guess that'll work. This is a, there is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. So you want to go east. Right. That's this way. Yeah. So go east. Hey, a safe point. And uh -huh. someone's there. Um, for this part, you're going to need your gears to jump around, so. There's nothing wrong with saving. There isn't. That's something you want to do. Awesome saving sound effects. Yeah. You can you can you can ignore it if you want. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. That's funny. So who could possibly be possibly be living in the middle of a stalactite cave by themselves? Old guy with really funky eyebrows. Hmm. It's been a while, but I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they are yours. Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourself at home. He seems like a nice guy. He's part of an evil cult and they're going to eat our livers. Okay, Nan, you just can't assume that every character you meet is an evil cult and is going to eat your livers. So, this guy pretty much exactly knows what you what happened yeah. to you. He is a genius. I can tell from the sound that you both ride good gears. But the legs seem to be playing up a bit. Yeah, he can tell... Everything about your gears just by listening to it from within his house. Damn. A hydromechanic pipe in its joints. Huh. I wonder who mentioned that earlier. So, uh, once. Keep going, yeah. I know I'm reading by myself. Okay. By the way, the name's Balthazar, but you can call, call me, me Old, Old Man Bell. Hey, Don, do you know what the name who the name Balthazar is? No. Balthazar is one of the. Can you keep going. Don't look at me, asshole. Balthazar is one of the three wise men who, in the desert in biblical times, went to see the birth of Christ. Oh yeah. They brought the um the gifts of uh what gold. Uh. Yeah. Something in myrrh, whatever they brought, they brought shit for Jesus. Balthazar, Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay, there you go. So, much like, much like those wise men, he's going to tell you. Um, uh, uh, he's basically just going to give you a lot of information. But there's three of them: Balthazar, Mechior, and Gasper, mm -hmm. all of whom are in this game. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, this part is um, something I was going to talk to you about once we got in here, but I got distracted. So, he's an archaeologist, and he's digging up bones. Mm-hmm. Uh, what he's finding out is that... Uh, is that not all of the bones that he's excavated are human bones. And right. after and before a certain point, there are no human bones. Yes, from a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. Basically saying that at one point, there were no humans on the planet, and then there were humans on the planet. Damn. And it goes into basically the um, the story of this planet and how the people believe that... Um, uh, <laughs> you mean the theory of evolution is taught by the ethos, Right. You can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. The old legends and myths saying that God... Basically, it's the Judeo-Christian idea that God created humans of this world. And, uh... Uh... And basically, you know, much in the same way that Adam and Eve uh, were starting off in the Bible, people lived with God in paradise and then... Humans ate a forbidden fruit, right. which gave them knowledge, and God drove mankind from paradise for the sin. However, in this story, the humans use the power of gears and giants to challenge God and then tried to kill him. Huh, somebody else mentioned that earlier too. Yeah, someone else who wanted to destroy God. Yep. But is there a connection between this guy and that guy? You'll have to find out. Yeah. But it, it, it certainly is interesting. Now, talk to him. He can repair your gears. Oh, by the way, does this cave have an exit? There is an exit in the excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier? You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Ave excavation site. They built the wall when Ave was excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. But they've stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? If it's a wall, you can probably break it down. Hold your horses there, youngins. No matter how good a gear you have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong. So, let's make a deal. A deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through the other side either. So, there are two sand sensors in the area, and you have to find them. And break them or something? Just deactivate them. It's not going to be anything too complicated. You just got to turn them off. Because that's what's keeping that door up. There's not actually an influx of sand or whatever. There's just sense the sand in the sensors themselves, which mm -hmm. is causing it to uh, react. Yes, uh, oh, before you go, here we go. I can share some parts and fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something, right? Thanks, old man. Well, we'll go and finish our part of the deal then. All right, now talk to him again. Now hurry and shut off the sand sensors, or do you have something else you want to ask? Uh, got any parts to sell? Hmm, which do you want for gear use? First, changing the engine is a good idea. It is an important idea. Changing the engine is probably always a thing you want to do first. So, go to tune-up. Go to fuel. Actually, don't go to fuel yet. Uh, you can do that afterwards. Go to engine. Mm-hmm. So, in order for you to buy a part... You have to have that much money to buy it. But you do get refunded for the part you had before. In this case, you're changing out your G4 for a G6. It has the same amount of fuel, but it has um, it, uh, it has more output. The 6 output compared to the 4 output means you do more damage. Okay. So you want to change that. And uh, yeah, go R1 and do it again for him. Now, go to frame, and you always want to buy the best thing you can get for here. Well tall, 2500. The ones that are highlighted are the ones that you can use. Okay. 
Oh yeah, because I don't even know uh, who, this one yet. But there's yeah. Brigid, uh, Brigadier. Brigadier is is Bart's. Weltall is Faye, and I'll already tell you, Heimdall is going to be Satan's. Okay. So um, yeah, you yes. want to change that and do it for him as well. You should have enough to get everybody everything they need. So we're going to armor. Yeah. Yep, you want to do that, and you will have you will have just enough to get everybody everything they need. Now go to fuel, and you can restore your HP and fuel here. Voila! Yay! So now you basically have an inn that you can uh, uh, you can uh, use to buy stuff. No he doesn't sell any more weapons. Uh, and he only sells extra armor plus one, which doesn't really matter. I wouldn't even waste waste your money. Nah, I was I looked. It's like it's... Uh, you can go to sell, uh, and I would say you don't need to sell anything. You're not you're not that hard up for money yet. Right. You've already fully upgraded your gears. Technically speaking, you can go and fight the final boss of this area right now. It won't make you any difference. But you want to get those death blows for Bart. You want to at least get that one death blow for Bart mm -hmm. to help you out. If if nothing else. No, no. Uh, stay in your gear. You're going to need it to get out of this area. Uh, climb those stalactites. Uh, well, not stalactites. Stalagmites. The plateaus. I don't know, dude. I don't think those are normal, like... I don't think those are, like, normal, uh... Holy crap! The damage go up ridiculously high. Yes. So, with an enemy that you can do damage to, you want to do more damage to. Don't worry about your fuel. You will probably never be in a situation where you're that dangerous to run out of fuel. You want to do the damage and kill the thing. See, in that case, that was very inefficient use of fuel, because you used a death blow, which used more fuel than just pressing X. I heard you. Yeah, but you're not listening. I'm listening. All right, now you can get out of your gear and walk this way. There's a long hallway. So while we go down this long hallway, I will exposition uh, uh, to try to uh, explain where you are. So, in... In this world, there were two past civilizations before this one. One um, that existed 500 years ago, which, if um, uh, if you recall in the very intro sequence when they're talking about the war that's been going on for 500 years, something happened 500 years ago, and it caused people to say, um, "Oh, we have completely lost our." memories of everything that happened before. Right. That was a past civilization. There was another civilization, however, 4,000 years ago. The ruins that you are exploring now are part of that. Right. I remember they mentioned that earlier that there's a bunch of ruins that the uh, Avens, was it? Were digging up? Ave. Ave, yeah. A-V-E-H. So the H is silent. Or it, it I guess I guess how you pronounce it is uh is up to you. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, I I'm sure a closer it would. I I'm sure some other name for it would make more sense. Um, this I believe is a fixer bot. Uh, if you get in your gears, you're gonna need to get in your gears. I think, because I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to do enough damage to to kill it. But if you don't attack it, I believe it will fix your gears. Nope, never mind, but it does it does shit for damage anyway, so kill it. So just use X then? Yeah, just use X. Oh, but it dodged. It's a sneaky bastard. Damn. Well, maybe you could have taken that out in your normal form. I don't know. That's not an enemy I saw here before, so I I don't I could not tell you if or if not that was a good idea for you to fight. Hmm. Couldn't tell you either. 
do, do, do. God, this is a long fucking hallway. This is a very long hallway, but the point is is that you're using this to gain experience and fights. So once again, you cannot fight these things. You yeah. do not do enough damage to... Not to kill them right away. Now. Yeah, so you want to get in your gears and just... It, it's always better just to kill them. Again, getting the death blows for Bart is good. It will help you. It's not necessary. It's not like... Oh, you absolutely need to do this, otherwise you're going to die. Luckily, doing a single X attack actually uh, is, kill, is just enough to kill them. And while, and while leveling up your party members doesn't get you more gear power or gear HP or, you know, anything for your gears, it still helps you in the long run. Yeah, it does. There's no penalty in this game for being overleveled. Unfortunately. There should be, but... It, the Like I've said before, the game has a great mechanic of making it very hard for you to have to overlevel anyway. So it, it's not a bad system to use. I believe it. In fact, if they had tried to put anything in here where, like, over-leveling would hurt you, it would probably hurt the game as a whole. And it's probably better that they don't. I've never beaten this, so I don't have an opinion of it yet. Yeah, well, I mean... Let's see if you can try to beat this guy. That, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, you... Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, never mind. This thing's dead. Yeah, I think I got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm okay. So I'm not sure if it was an oversight and uh, and the developers didn't realize it or if they intend if it was intended for you to be able to fight some of these enemies without your gear. In any case, it works well. Let's see if you can take out these guys since you were so good at taking out the others. Yeah, that's not a bad idea uh, either. Oh, wait, oh, wait. No. No, no. no, these guys have a lot more armor. Uh, try it. Yeah, try it, I guess. Call my gear or try... S try more combo. Try another death blow. Uh, triangle, triangle X for Bart. No, no, no. no. Triangle X. Oh, he's nearly death, actually. Oh, but it didn't kill him. I think if I did the full triangle, triangle X, even though it wasn't a death blow, it might have. Alright, do it. Uh, uh, use a death blow and kill him. Okay. There you go. And then use a healing potion on Bard. Yeah, Aquasol. Just a regular one? Yeah. That's, uh, that's the wrong guy. Seriously, it doesn't automatically target himself? No, it doesn't automatically target himself. It, it, it targets the first person in the party. Lame. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've used a lot of RPGs where if you use an item, the first person that they pick is usually themselves. So should I just try using Bart's uh, regular uh, death blow? Comp? Just always use the death blow with these guys? Yeah, because guys like this are very tough and you're going to want to use as much damage as you can to take them down. Again, if you want to waste your try time trying to learn death blows, that's fine. Don't do it against enemies that are going to kill you. Okay. And then you can uh, do another death blow with Bart and that'll take care of it. Remember, just doing the death blow as long as it's as long as it's part of, of the other one. Combo. It's... Yeah. As long as parts of it are similar to a greater combo, you continue to get points. Twin Sonic. There you go. Time for some hob jerky. So, you now... Bart has his... Um, his triangle square gear death blow. And... Faye... Doesn't have his... Uh, square X death blow, but it's not necessary. So now you can do whatever you want. You can run around in your gear and you'll move a lot faster. You probably want to do that anyway, since you're probably tired of just 
uh, I'm actually not too worried about around. it. I don't mind it. I'm just saying it's superfluous for you to waste your time um, trying to get more death balls because it will not help you any much more. I mean, having the level le the level two gear death blow is cool, but it, it's not important. What's more important is um, is getting through the area, defeating the boss, so that Making you can conserve the story. that you can. Well, yeah, that, and also conserving fuel and and whatnot. Because you can kind of grind the area, but it's not smart to. I don't want to. All right, so here's one of the sensors. Okay, uh, where is the other one? Is the good question. Uh, well, you see a chest over there, don't you? That's always something good to get. Yep. Gold nugget, which just sells for money. For now, just hold on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look around here, this particular area. Uh, Alright, so that was a door. Um, you don't have a map, I don't think. Okay, there was the big boulder, remember? Right. So, go. don't go back. You don't need to go back that way. But go through the door that you just saw. Okay. So, Don... Uh, one of the things I told you about before, but I'm going to tell everyone again, uh, the history of Xenogears and how it was made, back when Final Fantasy VI was done and Squaresoft was moving into the, uh, uh, to move on to the next Final Fantasy, somewhere around the time where, in between where Squaresoft moved away from Nintendo and moved to Sony, the development team for Xenogears... Uh, actually suggested Xenogears to be Final Fantasy VII. Ah, uh, don't remind me! Ah! Fucking Square, you messed that one up. Again, for the people at home, uh, disclaimer, Don really does not like Final Fantasy VII. No, I despise it. Despite, despite the fact that it is clearly the most superior Final Fantasy of all Final Fantasies. I'll kill you. <laughs> But it's fun. It is really funny. But the reason why SquareSoft turned it down for the being the next Final Fantasy game is that they thought the game's plot was too dark and too deep. Okay, this is the way back to the old man. That path ahead. Oh, actually. Remember, there was a second yeah, path. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It just dawned on me. Wee. Actually, the random battles in this game aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Well, one of the complaints most people make about this game is that it has a high uh, percentage of random battles. Oh, dude, no, you want to see high percentage of random battles? The first Tales of Destiny. I literally had it where at the start of the game when you go to your like your through your first dungeon, like like six random battles in a row, and I've only taken like five steps. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I mean... Tales of Destiny, the first one, had random battles galore. And I mean, it was bad. The thing is about Xenogears, it it does have a lot of random battles, but... I can't believe I made that. I, I can't believe you made it either. And there's another chest over there you can try to get. And you suck. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that good at this jumping thing in this you gotta game. Take, you gotta take your time with it. You don't have to wind up. I want to wind up. It makes me feel better. <laughs> Iron G Whip. I All wonder right. who the hell that's for. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Faye, time to equip the whip. Nope. Huh. So... Oh, oh, I think I know who it's... Yeah, yeah. Hey! So, the important thing to remember is, is that whenever G, a... G, The me. G. Whenever a weapon uses the word G... It is for the gear. It is for the gear. It's a little bit of a cheap way of, of pointing that out, but it it's it helps you so much when you're looking at an item and you're thinking, do I even want to bother using this? And then you say no because it's just a gear, a new gear weapon for a character you don't really need a new upgrade for. Does that thing charge? And I don't want to know what charging does. Exactly. <laughs> what charging does, if it ever hits you, uh, it uh, actually does damage, is what it does. I believe it. 
I believe it. But the enemies here are so weak that, honestly, you'd have to be some kind of a putz to uh, actually... I'd, I'd have to have really him. bad luck with my accuracy to even get hit, I believe. I will say, you've now, now you've disengaged both the sensors, I will say that it's pretty damn difficult, I think, to die in this game. Oh. For me. For me, at least. Okay, I was going to say, but I didn't know turning the camera counted as movement. Uh, well, sort of. Now, no, 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 just charge. Because I'm pretty sure this guy, I want to see if this guy will fix your bot. Well, it, I don't have any damage on me. How will he may replenish your fuel too? I just want to see. No, that's fine. It's, it's not like he's doing anything to me. Yeah. And this is a cheap way of, you know. Yes, and this is actually, this is a strategy you need to learn. Because sometimes you won't have a nice and handy um, old man to old man to fix your gears for you right there. Sometimes you're going to be stuck in an area and you're going to be like, I am low on fuel and low on HP. I need to do something to get my uh, resources back. Yeah, there you go. Well, there we go. So now you can kill him. Uh, okay, so it's 1,200 for each of them. Yes. And good night. Bitch! Yeah. I forgot X attacks really have a low accuracy. That's right. L fiercer attacks like X have a lower accuracy but do more damage, while quicker attacks like Triangle uh, do less damage but have a better time of hitting. It's kind of a weird system, actually. It's not. I'm trying to think of an implemented that same system. Most most action RPGs use something to that level. Is that a stronger attack does more damage, but is either easier to avoid or is easier to block or not easier to block. You know, I mean, uh, you're going to want to talk to old man Bal, dude. Oh, yeah. I got to let him know that I uh, got rid of the sense. Uh, yeah. And he's got he's still got to fix your gears. He hasn't really. He hasn't actually. Oh yeah, it. story reason why. Yeah, he yeah, does yeah, yeah. Have I mean, he's because your your hydromechanic pipe pump thing joint. In the, yeah, in the left knee or something. Yeah. Oh, good timing. I was just about to open up the sand barrier now. Do 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 do. <laughs> Slowest barrier ever. Uh, oh, there it goes. It's are you kidding? That thing is like... That thing. That thing is like 300 feet tall. I can still call it slow. Yeah, it's got to fall slow. If it fell any faster, it would cause an earthquake. Well done, old man. Our deal is done. Hey, old man. There's one thing I want to ask you. What is it? I've heard somewhere on this planet is a gear far superior to all others. I've heard that it was called the God Gear and was made in ancient times but hidden away somewhere. Do you know anything about it? A man-made God created with the wisdom of God. Such a gear would have the power of a thousand gears. In a wave of its arm, it could destroy whole cities. Ha! Huh. Its battle cries would thunder in the heavens. You must be speaking of the Omni Gear. You know of it? Then perhaps it was what you were speaking about in that tale you told us of the battle with God. Goodness gracious, you too, boy. Those stories were made to inspire man's souls, but they're just legends. They don't really exist. Anyway, allow me to take a look at your gears. So it's strange... It's strange that he went from saying, I believe in the old legends and myths. Yeah, to denying to it like the plague. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, that's just children's stories. Hey, Bart, do you think the gear in that story is buried in the ground somewhere? I think that's what I've heard. Could one of the gears we are using possibly be it? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. What are the chances of that happening? The gears that are excavated lately are usually only a few hundred years old. Nowhere nearly as old as the gear in that legend. Then why were they in the ground? I don't know. There are no records. Except... Except what? 
There must be some truth in the tales that they were buried after a great war. The bullet wounds covering most of the gear's armor would appear to confirm that. You mean that there are no records from the last several hundred years? How about before that? None from either period. None from either period. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you do it to me all the time, asshole. I can do it. It's my job. The ethos controls all the records from that time period. So the ethos is basically like the... Yeah, the ethos is basically like the United Nations somewhat kind of a church. It's kind of a weird entity. And you won't deal with it for a while. Yeah. So clearly, Bart knows something's up. Because, and I won't spoil it for you yet, he may n know a little bit more about the world than you do as well. Of course. Everybody seems to know everything else Except but you. Faye. Yeah, <laughs> Faye just doesn't know shit. And unfortunately, the story's being told from Faye's perspective, so you get to learn about it as other people learn, as right. other people tell you about it. I will say that Bart is not nearly as noble as... Oh, 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 oh. This can't be! What's wrong, old man? Is this your gear? Well, sort of. <laughs> Where did you get it? I'm just borrowing it. Uh... This is the host for the spirit of the Slayer of God. <laughs> Wait a moment! What did you just say? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. Lies! No, I heard you. You said Slayer of God. Um, bitch, I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Your gears are fixed. You have no more business here. Oh, man, just This is a bad time for me. Be on your way. <laughs> Be on our way. Listen here, old man. Bitch, what did I just fucking say? And he literally kicks you out. Not surprised. There's no reason to go back to talk to him. But, um... But do it anyways? No, it's not worth it. Oh, look, he guarded and still died. Yep. So, he called your gear the Slayer of God. Feel and like somebody else did. And Graf wants you to slay God. So yeah. clearly, clearly something is up, and you were meant to have this gear. But maybe that's not a good thing. Nope. It never is. At the moment, Faye is only at the point where he, ha he has to use it. Like, he doesn't really have much of a choice. So you gotta get out of your gears to get into that gondola. Other side. Okay. And you suck. Whatever. Alright, let's see if you can take these guys on. Do it. Now you have Bart's uh, second level uh, death blow. Right. You should be able to take out one of them in one turn and the other one the next. Hey, there we go. Yeah. So you notice how Bart did more damage to him than you than Faye did. Yeah, I, I did notice that. That is because he has that power ring. So I had told you before, like with the step shoes, that the two per, uh, two point evade percent made no difference. Keep packing. Oh, yeah. That the two points of evade percentage made no difference. That's not true. Or the two points of the defense from the stamina ring or the power ring didn't make any difference. That isn't actually true. The two points do make a difference. I just don't think it makes that big of a difference for you to spend money on it. I can believe that. Want to get on the gondola? No, I don't want to. Of course, game, I do. Yay. Ominous chasms, ominous chasms. Chasms are ominous. Of course. Yeah, so big red button, what do you do? Push the big red button. The excavation site main power generator. Currently, the main power is off. Turn it back on. Main power turned on, operating normally. 
Ugh. I'm so stuffy. Did you blow your nose? I'm gonna blow it right into the mic. Do it, I don't care. I'll I'll fucking do it. Do it! I'll I'll fucking do it! Alright, go get in your gears and uh go back over and go over there. Take that elevator down. I kinda saw this coming. Yeah, it should be pretty obvious. Head towards the save point on the other side. Try to avoid There's nothing to find. I know, I just wanted to turn the camera so I could see. Oh. <laughs> There's no save point over here. No, it's on the other side of the ominous chasm. Ominous chasm. It's very, very ominous. Yep. So, hopefully, you don't have to take any damage in this area. Because as it should be pretty obvious, as I've been explaining, you're about to get yourself in a boss fight. Of course! I mean, it just makes perfect sense. So, if you had gone back to the... If you had gone back to, um... Uh... To Balthazar and said, Hey, can I get some more gear parts? He would say to you, why? Calamity's just going to get rid of you, and I'll just collect the parts after he's done. Oh, really? What a dick. What a dick. The question is, is what is Calamity? Calamity's the boss. Yeah, but what is it? Uh, probably a defense gear. <coughs> oh, jeez. I don't know, I like the audio in this game. It's okay, it was, it's good for the time period. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. It's a defense gear. Well, it's got giant rockets on its back. Uh-huh. That's a pretty big, uh... You know, that's something you don't see every day. A gear with two massive rockets on its back. Yep. Uh... No, you can't jump up there. You gotta go this way. Kind of almost makes me want to uh, watch uh, Neo Genesis Evangelion. Oh, uh, I guess so. I've never really watched all of it. It's a pretty depressing anime, in my opinion. It's I'm good, sure but it it's is. depressing. Yeah. All right. You're going to have to use all of your smarts for this fight. Triangle. Yes. E buff. Yes. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> oh yeah. If you do not do that, you will die. How long, how many turns does that last? And see his name? Calamity. Calamity. Uh, it is permanent. It is a permanent debuff. This game, oh, nice! This game uses Pokemon logic. So, triangle X. Oh, not square. Now, remember how I said it uses Pokemon logic? Yep, it stacks. It stacks. It does get to a certain point where it does not probably, debuff anymore. Yeah, probably about five uses, it probably stops. Because if it's Pokemon logic, five was the magic number. Unless it was one of the, uh, the bigger ones. Holy shit! Yeah, this is a boss rushdown fight. So the question is, is how many more times do you want to use Bart's uh, wild smile on him before you actually get him to attack? Three. Three is a good number. That's Yeah, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Because if we're going Pokemon logic, three's a nice little magic number. That'll probably miss. Yep. Now, your attacks do damage, yes? Yeah. So, why are you still using triangles to build up your attack power? Let's see. Remember, if your if your attack doesn't do damage, then fine. Don't use your strongest attack. Use a triangle attack to build up attack power. However, if you can do damage, 
do it. it. Do the damage. Kill him. He's going to kill you. Now Bart should have his triangle square too now? He should. See? So now it's just an issue of rinsing and repeating. Right. So when I first played this game, this boss fight ripped me to shreds. I would imagine because if you didn't upgrade your gear... Yes, if you didn't upgrade your gear's um, health... Fuck, that attack does not seem like it misses. No, that attack won't miss. The important thing is that his fist attack misses. But... But, I believe the enemy learns this because over time... He does the fist attack less and less and does the ether attack more and more. Or it could just be random. <laughs> it's just like, that's like the most, the most vague. He does this thing, or he doesn't do this thing. Eh, close enough. The point, the point being is that if you don't put that wild smile on him, the combination of the physical attacks and the missiles just rip you to shreds. Yeah, I, if I did not use wild smile at least three times, this would have sucked hard. Yes. So when I first fought this this boss, I could not get past his defenses. I kept trying to use my X attacks. I hadn't learned about Oh god, blows. he hit! <laughs> he hit with that. Oh yeah. Don't worry. It did not do that much damage. No, you're, you're still fine. 106 isn't bad. It's that 400 I'm worried about. Yeah, but I think he's gonna be just nearly dead now. Yeah, not yet. Close. Soon. Maybe. Uh. Oh. Someone else is getting some rockets. That's fine. Bart's got. Bart was practically at full hit points for a while for this fight. Yes. Bart could take a hit or two. Crit, damn you! There is no crit. I know. <laughs> There is never a crit. There's only one character, and I will not tell you who it is. Yay! Hey! I could I could have saw that fight turning out horribly. Yeah, if you had not upgraded your parts, and more importantly, if you hadn't known about death blows. Oh, this would have sucked. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it looks like that's the exit. Time to go. <laughs> What the fuck? Bar's getting his shit wrecked. Of course. What the? Get out of the way, Bart. Why couldn't you do that like 15 turns ago? Very good question! Whoa! What the hell did you just do? Overdrive. Hey! Hey, asshole! Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? What in the blazes was that? Don't you know? No. I... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I kind of blacked out for a minute. That was incredible. You just blew that huge thing to pieces. Why didn't you use that technique a bit earlier? That's why I said! I don't know that technique. I have no idea how I even did it. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, always, always with the vague, ambivalent... Uh, Ominous everything. Yep. Yes. Still a really good game, though. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all we have time for this episode. Uh, until next time, join us for uh, more Xenogears. Uh, leave a like or comment below if you enjoyed the video. And as always, subscribe for. Don't stop. Keep oh. going. We got place. We got. We got. We got to make some moves. Keep going, man. Until next time. Good night, everypony.